and not not being dishonest, but not go like there's been a few times like I could have gone into detail about it and segued into it nicely and I didn't. I deliberately stopped. And I always felt like does it really hurt for folk to know kind of like not so much who you are, but what what's happened in the past and shit like that, you know, like di different different periods of your life. Do you know, it's not a case of like that's that's any effect now and shit like that. You know. But I, I don't see how it had any harm just to like volunteer, you know, like during this period in my life was like this and this was like this and this was like this. And you know, for the last few years been fucking great. Great. Absolutely great. I, I, seriously, I couldn't be fucking any happier nowadays. Absolutely fucking fantastic. Very great. But yes, like I say, that, like I say that, that's, that's an end to that. That's an end to that. I don't think there's anything more to be said on that one. Mm. Nah. Nah. That's pretty much it. Like I said, that was about the only bit. I mean, like... It's like, I, I always went on about skiving college and skiving high school and shit like that. Then about... I always felt like, fucking hell, I'm making myself look shit here. I wish I had mentioned that. Because I make myself look shit like just some fucking delinquent, like... And it's like, well, yes, kind of a delinquent. But not without a reason. You know, like... S something set me off down that path for that amount, for that period of my life. It wasn't just like, well, that's just naturally in you. It's like, no, it wasn't. It was... There was a catalyst that set it off. And like I say, it, it was nice to just kind of like say about it, to just, just talk about it and kind of like fill out the entire jigsaw rather than it just looking like, well, you, you were just a fucking sod, weren't you? It's like, well, yes, I don't disagree. But at the same time, like, you know, there was, there was circumstances and, you know, situations you know, the fucking fair few problems I had and shit like that, and you know, I I were who I, I was who I was, and I did what I did, and I I don't fucking apologise for it. I do not. I'm not saying it was great, and I'm not saying it, it you know like recommended, but I I don't fucking apologise for it. Fuck no, I did what I thought was best for me, in the situation that I was in. And like I say, I won't apologise for that. It might not have been the right decisions, might not have been the right thing to do. Certainly not the recommendable thing to do. But I did what I thought was best for me. And everybody does that. And some things were right and some things were wrong and it all ended out alright. So it can't have been too bad really, can it? If it all ended out alright, it can't have been too bad. And certainly some folk have it a lot worse. Like I say, I ain't looking for no sympathy. Because some folk have it a lot worse than what I do. Some folk, like somebody, I think it was like Tulane said, um, some folk don't have the the break that I did. You know, like being having access to fucking YouTube and shit. You know, like some folk don't have the same kind of like personality traits that what I do to like get over shit and like the, to realize something is wrong and to change it like force forcibly. So, like I say, I, cons I consider myself incredibly lucky. Not just lucky, incredibly lucky. And if I didn't have any luck for the rest of my life, up to this, from this point onwards, I would still consider myself to have done well. So, not bad, not, like I say, not bad, really. Not bad. And it was quite therapeutic, actually, to um, go through it all. Like I, said, I was going to say to fess up, but it's like, no, I'd like to fess up. Like I said, it's that weird thing with, like, you know, mental problems that, like, it's still got a stigma attached to it now, like... Like I say, like, you say it and it's like, you've, you've got, like, a, there's, an, there's an air of embarrassment. You know, like, you say, you think that folk aren't going to, like, look at you the same, because you're, like... You, you've had a problem in the past or whatever like that. And it's like, dude, yeah, I, I, I had fucking problems in the past. Fucking a lot of folk do. And my problems have come from fucking very pinpointable things, you know, like that and like that and there we go. Like that's the, those are the reasons for this. So it's like, look, if somebody did think less of me because of that, it's like, well, dude, that's on you. I mean, it, 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 that's entirely on you to think that way.
Like I say, some folk have worse problems, some folk have had worse problems, some folk still do have fucking problems, I don't fucking treat anybody any different. Someone comes up to me and goes, oh, I've had depression, oh, I have depression, stuff like that, and stuff cheered me up, I don't think, oh, he's had depression, I don't know about this guy. It's like, fuck that, I hope, I, I really do hope that I have cheered him up, and I hope he gets, I hope they get sorted with it. And somebody said, just to finish, somebody said, like, the be what's, um, what's a good way of kind of, like, you know, pushing through, like, a rage problem? And like I say, depression, I could not give you an answer, like, how to get over depression. Other than, like, they just say, like, that, what's that, P PMT? Positive mental thinking? Premenstrual not premenstrual tension, positive mental thinking. <laughs> and, um... That... Depends on the person, it really does. It's not a guarantee that's gonna help. But I can guarantee that it does help some. It might not cure you, you might need a lot more than that and a lot more time, and it might not help as much as what it does some people, but it does fucking help. I mean, the way I thought about it was, like, with the depression side, just fucking, like, attack, 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 attack. Anything to do with fun, get it. Any opportunity you get, take it. Just everything, anything, everything and anything. Do anything, try anything, just anything. Just experience and enjoy. And eventually... It gets to a, it's got to push through in the end. It's got, to, it's got to, some emotion has to come to the surface, be it good or bad. And once you can crack it, and you start to think more positively, and you start to um, do and act more positively, it starts to really infiltrate your core, and you start to rewire your brain. Depression and rage and a lot of other stuff is a problem of your brain being wrongly wired. Something has gone wrong inside your mind, and it's, it's connected the fucking, the circuit's not fucking wired right. Something's just fucked up. It's, at some point or another, you know, the solders come loose or some shit like that or wherever the wiring wasn't particularly strong to begin with and it's snapped and it's gone off into another fucking direction. And what you need to do is deliberately and forcibly over time reconfigure that, reconfigure it back around, rewire your brain as best you fucking can. And it does work, it does work. And with the rage, the rage is a similar kind of mental disorder. And you can attack it in the same way, you know, thinking positively and for me personally, what I did is I used to realize, like it took me, it took, it's actually taken a lot of work over the last couple of years or so to um, do this. Like a situation starts and you go, I know this is going to make me mad. And if you can realize immediately that you're about to get mad, that is the key to success with rage. If you can realize immediately that you're about to get very, very angry. If you can realize that, you can stop. You can go, look, if I get really mad, I'm going to fucking hurt the person. Not like physically or like, but I might say something that I don't mean. I'm gonna, like, feel very- Oh, I swear to God, the amount of times that I'd say something and then feel so bad. So fucking bad. Never felt as bad in my life as what I've done when I fucking said some nasty shit after being enraged. And you, like I say, if you can just see that you're getting angry, and then st stop, and just go, look, it's not worth it. I mean, get a little bit mad if it's worth it, whatever like that, okay, but don't. Don't become infuriated because you'll say or you'll act or you'll do something that you regret. And you'll feel bad and you won't gain anything out of it. And I'm always, a, I'm always, I'm, I like to have a good argument, me. I like, I like to fucking, I like to win arguments. And, um, you can't win an argument when you're angry. Is somebody going? Who's going? Oh, it's bad crazy. Good night, sir. Good night. I hope you enjoyed the, um... <laughs> got to, um, go been up way too late. Yes, I, I, same here, same here. Thanks for watching, though, dude. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. But like I say, the, uh, the key is just realising that you're about... Not that you are angry, because you probably won't realise that you are angry when you are angry. Because you don't have much control at that point. You've got to kind of, like... It takes a while. It does. It takes a while. But if you develop this mantra of spotting when you get angry, deliberately going, I will not get mad. I will not get mad. No matter what, I am not 
going to get angry. You will not rattle me. Whatever anybody, anything, anyone throws at you, I will not get mad at this. And you still will. <laughs> you, st you still will get mad. But you'll realise, if, you if you keep drumming that mantra into your head over and over and over and over and over, every time you're about to get mad, eventually it clicks. And eventually it gets to the point where you realise, I'm starting to escalate. I'm starting to get a bit mad here. And you go, I what? And it just goes, Phew. Back down again. And you find then, you go, I gotta be honest, I'm not too happy about what you just said, miss or sir. And I am choosing to say, fuck yourself, and good night. <laughs> yeah, that's like, you know, still give people some shit, but you know, you, you don't, like, you don't get mad with it. Because like I say, you can't win an argument when you're mad anyway. You, look, you water down your argument with fury. And like I say, that, that's, that's, that's the key. The key to both um, any kind of mental disorder is trying to just drum into your head this mantra of positiveness. And hopefully you've got friends and family to reinforce it and to help you out. That is the way of going about it. And like I said, the key with rage specifically, realise that you've got a problem to begin with. And then secondly, a mantra of I will not get mad. I will not get mad. And if I do get mad... I ain't gonna fucking- get, I, I ain't gonna get that mad. I think you deserve my, uh, my anger to be, vo like, vocalised here, but I'm not gonna give you both barrels. I'm not gonna deliberately set out to fucking rip you open and just fucking fill you full of venom. Really go for damage. I'm just gonna fucking say my piece, quite calmly, like, ju just vocalise my- my, um- my discontent with the situation or what you've just said and then move along you know that's that's the key to it that's the key to it oh thank you very much dude thank you very much black chaos daisy it's still it's still an alpha mind you but a fun game to play overall watch for the zombies though they're on thank you very much dude i was actually saying at the beginning of the stream like i was i mean i was contemplating snagging it earlier on and i thought you know what i last the stream See what they think about it. And I've got to be honest, the stream was quite a mixed bag. But it does seem like the game has legs. Like, well, maybe maybe at the moment only legs. But, you know, it's, it's working on, you know, regenerating the rest of it. So, I mean, some people love it already. But some people are like, eh, you know, get it a bit later on down the line when it's been fleshed out a bit more. But, you know, at least I've got it now. So I can check it out along down the line and stuff like that. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. In respect to your videos and making people happy, I can definitely, um, wait a minute. I can definitely say you're the best video smith on YouTube. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Very kind. No one else entertains as much and delivers such quality content. Never stop, man, because I'll never stop watching your stuff. I'll hold you to that. I'll fucking hold, I'll hold you to that. I remember your name now. I remember your name. Nemesis. I remember, I'll be watching six, seven years from now, ten years. I'll be like, where's Nemesis on my stream? I've not seen him recently, he said forever. He broke a, he broke a stream promise. promise. Somebody else going. If somebody else is going, um, good night, sir. Or madam. I'm not quite sure who's going. Any chance you'll try Rust? Rust looks pretty good as well. Rust looks pretty good. Might check it out at some point. I was watching a video for it earlier on. It seems like Rust and DayZ competing a little bit, but it seems like DayZ's winning a little bit. But it's probably on its own, like, reputation more than anything else. I don't pretend that... I don't know Well, I don't know if it's a better game or not. Is OTZ drunk at the moment? I just got here... What? I just got here since the start. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Is, is OTD drunk at the moment? I just got here since the start of it. That doesn't make sense, Dante. Dante! But no, I'm not really drunk anymore. Not really drunk. I've sobered up in the last um, couple of hours a few. How dare you not make sense? But shit, man. I was, fuck I, I was shit-faced for a few hours. I, I knew I was right. 
chug half a bottle of wine in like five or ten minutes at most. Oh, my ass is two bottles here. Yeah, but they're both half a bottle. So you had one bottle? Yeah, I had one bottle of wine. I swear to God, it was half a bottle and half a bottle. <laughs> don't ask me why there was two half a bottles. That's, your, that's nothing to do with me, I don't drink. But there was two half a bottles of wine, one in the fridge and one out. And, um, like I said, I, I drank two of them, but like, I f it filled up my glass. I just fucking chugged it over like about five minutes. Both times. Hey, it made a fucking difference. It does. So what did you do? Do I need to download your videos just in case? Or are you still planning to give us a heads up just in case? I will always give you a heads up before I delete stuff. Unless, like, something, like, comes down. Like, tomorrow, if you have content matches, we will nuke your channel. At which point, it's like, dude, you've, dude, you've got, like, two hours before I <laughs> remove these videos. But I was saying at the beginning of the stream... I was saying at the beginning, like, I think there was an overreaction to the content matches. It doesn't seem like content matches from this year will be any different to the content matches from last year. There's just more of them. That's all the- that's the, that's the only difference, there's just more of them. So there's no need to remove old videos. So no, I'm not- I'm not getting rid of Metal Gear Solid, not unless something- not unless some new information comes out. I am not removing Silent Hill or Metal Gear Solid or any Konami games. I am not. It's true, OTG's videos are just great. They definitely helped a good few of us with depression and they're always entertaining. I, like I say, I, I, I like to fucking hear shit. Well, not like, you know, like people are depressed or all that, but like I was saying, I like to hear that it's like, because this is absolutely fucking great. This is, this is like a hobby and work and fucking everything for me combined, like a passion, you know, everything combined. And the fact that so many people can be entertained and it can... You know, cheer some folk up is, I, I would say icing on the cake, but it's not. It's actually quite a big substantial layer of the cake. Because it makes it sound like a bonus, and it's not a bonus. It's something integral to it that is a very, very nice part of it overall. Well, speaking of Metal Gear Solid 2, I don't think that'll actually go to YouTube, you know. I think that will literally only be on the Twitch channel. I think that's how it's going to work. I think I'll stream Metal Gear Solid 2 and just keep it on Twitch. I'll highlight it into, like, di like proper parts. I'll, go, I'll, I'll attack it in a way of, like, two-hour chunks or something like that. And have a break, and then I'll highlight the two hour chunks minus the break, and do it that way, and keep it definitely stored on fucking Twitch, so people like, can definitely get there. Somebody says to me like, oh Metal Gear Solid 2, it's like, I've done it. I said, oh, but Twitch has deleted it, so I can't see it. It's like, oh, weak, 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 weak. Because I don't think I'll be doing a second run of Metal Gear Solid 2, it's a long game, in it. I mean, let me just fire in... How long to beat Metal Gear Solid 2? I've actually been here recently, it says. Whoops. Um, oh, is it only 14 hours? Main plus extras, 14 hours. That's not too bad, that. Fucking Shadow Warrior was, like, almost 14 hours. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty is the follow-up to, uh, to one of the most captivating and intelligent adventures on the original PlayStation. Solid Snake, everyone's favourite mullet-sporting super soldier, is back along with many other familiar faces and voices. While its predecessor was lauded for telling a complex story, the sequel has even more fascinating twists and turns. That psyched you up, doesn't it? I don't know if I was sounding sarcastic there or not. A little, maybe a little. <laughs> it got me into it a little bit, but... <laughs> oh, that's nice, dude. 
Whenever I talk to somebody about either of them, I always start my sentence with my friend Liam or my friend Claire. Feel free, sir. What's that? Arigaku. When it speaks to fuck it, starts like we're like, oh yeah, my friend Liam or whatever like that, or my friend Claire. <laughs> my friend. No, like I say, I mean, I have, um, I, I tried to be as, well, I don't try to be as down to earth with fuck as I can be. I am. Simple as that. You know, people, people do the channels and, you know, like, the people that watch them, stuff like that, in various different ways. But the way I've always done it is to be completely fucking down to earth and like to... I mean, I've always said, I, I, I keep, I say it like every fucking month, like, just a regular guy doing something that he fucking enjoys. That's it. I don't pretend to be some fucking, like, you know, put that guy on a fucking pedestal kind of shit or all like that. Like, wow, that's fucking OTG. That, wow, it's like, no, dude, seriously. You should never start the sentence with wow and have my name in it. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Fucking ever. Like I say, people, um, people in interact with um, their folk in different ways, but I've always tried to be as down to earth as possible. Because that's how I, like I say, it's like I was saying earlier on, like, I, 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 I am what you hear. There is no, there is no, like, well, actually, in real life, I'm an F1 car driver. I'm actually quite posh, and I never swear. It's like... <laughs> quite, quite either. I swear, yeah. F1 car driver, posh, never swear. It's like, no, it's like, what you hear is what you get. 